You may have heard of some goofy VST plugins like Meow Synth, Delay Llama, maybe even Stonks Distortion. But what if I told you that that doesn't even scratch the surface of weirdness when it comes to VST plugins? What if I told you that this is only the tip of the iceberg? Dog Games is a collection of three games giving you the perfect plugin to procrastinate with. This is probably the worst thing to pick up, honestly, because why would you want this? FFT fight, sort of like asteroids. You just have to dodge objects. Flappy mix, I mean, that's pretty obvious. Flappy birds. Cletris, Cletris, I don't know how you say that. Cletris, just a Tetris clone. I hope you guys are prepared because these are the most normal plugins on this list. This is about to go downhill quick. This is actually hard. Ooh, best one yet, best one yet, guys. Best one yet. Ooh, best one. Oh. The Gray Analyzer is a hybrid granulator and delay plugin that helps you create some experimental sounding effects from the proud creators of Mass Turbo Tar. Gray Analyzer comes with a lot of unique features. Like the name suggests, this plugin has some pretty explicit imagery so i would uh definitely recommend the pg version if you're a little baby or should i say the goo goo gaga version drink your milk little boy yeah so normally i use grain delay on, on percussion kind of adds a bit more texture so i just feel weird looking at this display the hell? let's have a look at the presets here presets three flavors of trash anal boiling anal invader <laughs> double double I honestly don't know what to say about these next plugins other than don't browse this website at 3 a.m. I'm so happy I'm doing it in the daytime because this is demonic. Mishpi is a tape distortion plugin. Backmask is described as a chaotic reverser plugin. Dumpster fire is a pitch shifter. All of these are cursed. And by cursed, I mean really cursed. Like there's something so creepy about these effect plugins. But I'm sure you can get some very, you know, bizarre and interesting sounds. The thing I really love about Freak Show Industries is that you have the option to steal these plugins or underpay. This means you can either obtain a free license or purchase these effects at a lower price. What is this? What is this? A pretty simple trap beat. This is how it sounds. All right, so yeah, so I just got this, uh, I think I just used this preset from Massive. This is a pretty interesting interface. I don't I don't know what to, I don't know what to say about this. So you got quality. Uh, you can go from happy face to sad face. Sad face is somehow 100 quality. Um, you have low, mid, and high. So kind of, add some bats. What is it? Of course, there is a unicorn. You got this thing in the top right corner, this very cursed looking face. No, no. What the hell? It's a poopy of pants type thing. You got this guy eating a hot dog. That's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. What is this? I'm surprised the amount of use that you can get out of these plugins so far. I don't know what this is. Even though this doesn't have many elements to it, this still looks like the most cursed plugin out of all of the three. Sounds like a skeleton walker. Maybe this would be better for percussion. Let's still play it anyway. Let's see how this sounds. This is literally a flanger plugin with a picture of Ned Flanders from The Simpsons. Ned Flanders. <sighs> Why did I put this on my list? Right, so I've recorded this part three times right now. I feel like this universe is just telling me that this plugin sucks. It's so trash, dude. All right, so we I'll just speed run this real quick. We got a sample here, Ned Flanders. This is how it sounds. You got the depth, you got the rate, 
then you also got the feedback. This is my favorite one. I love this. It makes me feel like you got some trash bags behind you. You got a lot of flies. Gorilla Bass is the right plugin for when you're monkeying around for that perfect sound. Gorilla Bass can help you create heavy bass lines that will make everyone go banana. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Gorilla Bass is the most appealing. <laughs> Ever wanted to experience a classic rave in the comfort of your own home? Thanks to Rave Generator 2, you can now throw it down with some drug fuel sounds. The second installment of Rave Generator. Rave Generator 2 adds some new improvements to the UI and functionality, helping you recreate that iconic 90s rave sound. Looks like you've got a lot of sounds to choose from, a lot of uh, like one shots. Uh, James Brown. I might get sued for that one. Ooh, that's, that's, that's a little fire. I like that. Let's, uh, let's, let's spice this up a little bit. Let's get a little... I want to feel the rave. I want to feel a lot of rave up in here right now. What is that? What is that? Just when you thought the cursed plugins were over. Darkware is a collection of disturbing plugins that date all the way back to 2005. Even a name sounds ominous. Just Darkware. Whew. Whew. I felt like a little shiver on my... From battery acid to perky. These interesting plugins offer a wide range of experimental sounds to play around with. There's just something so nostalgic about these graphics that it's so reminiscent of the early EDM era. There was just nothing back then. There was nothing. I'm gonna have to censor this. This it's a pair of titty. The presets include erect, metallic pasties, strapless, lactate. Glitch girl, let's have a look at this. Wow, that is something I'm gonna have to censor again. So th this is the PG version. They are just three dials. Not really much to this plugin, but... So, that's all of the plugins on this list. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I hope you, uh, I hope you gain something from this. Don't download any of these. Yeah, hoping to make this a new series. If you guys know any weird, wacky plugins, just comment them down, send me them, email me them. What's, like, right here? But this sucks. This sucks so much. I don't know, like, I just know, I feel the energy from this area, right? I just, I really hate videos that end right in the middle.